we have it pretty much built check it out this is a tin site all we're gonna do is plug up that pipe right there and run it all the way through and hook it up to this pump and then we're gonna drill a hole right here so it can come out and then we're gonna take this here and we're going to drill a hole and make that uh, the uh, opening where it's at because this is the highest we actually want this water to go right here because you can see we're pretty much at nine gallons up on that and we have the bubble whip f2 by mendocino we have um the mixed nuts and that was one of the uh free packages that we had gotten from humboldt when we ordered all the seeds from humboldt and right now i just have it up under the spider form sf4000 but check it out here's the spider former se7000 yeah buddy so we finally got them out of the tent and there's the IR bars up there. So Alright, there we go. There we go. Alright, so I see that we have a couple of water leaks. It's good to check these things out. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my tool and I'm going to tighten up those bulkheads off in there a little bit tighter where I see that the water leaks are at. I see this bucket here and that bucket over there have water leaks. Everything else looks like it's tightened enough to where that it's not having any water leaks or anything like that. But this is what we have to do and we're going to repair this link it all the way down to this pump right here and like I said from this pump it's going to transition up into that we was talking about the spider former se7000 grow lights here you go yes looks pretty nice right I love it things looks pretty decent it's awesome yeah buddy and I have the buckets all align let's see if we can kind of like get parallel with it but you see how i have the buckets that is up on this last bar right here it's like in the center so it can utilize this last bar right here to catch the outskirt of what might be hanging over and stuff like that and also on this exact same side too this second bar right here is lying right off in the center and then this one little bar is right up on the edge of it so everything can have a, a significant amount of enough light uh, off of here so with that little gap that we have right here that that's nothing that's not gonna hinder anything because all of this here kind of like tapers off like that on each side even on the sides like this here everything taper off you know to a certain degree so as long as you have ambient i could have done 12 site with this here but i choose to just do the 10 site um which that's phenomenal and we have these two pumps right here which we're gonna put these on stands that is slightly higher than the water levels that are often here just in case if we ever lose power we don't want to damage the pump by the water having a backflow back off inside of those air pumps so we have to take care of that as well uh, we have the balancers for the spider formers we have them mounted up here and we have it tethered um, i like the way how i have it because no heat can build up off in there or anything like that and of course you we have the basic timer um, we just have it plugged in right here we're gonna make all of this look really nice and of course this thing right here is the fil uh, air filtration system and this is going to pretty much sit right here and this gives me more room to do this here instead of having that big old five by five tent and then i had the five by ten tent i really didn't have any room uh we're going to clean all of that up all of that's going to be empty we're getting rid of that tent and the only thing that's going on, on that side is just this tent 
right there but all of this is going to be empty because maybe in the future we're going to do another tin site and right here we're going to remodify this here for another row to come in to where that is transitioned just off into that one system right there so we will do the conversion for that later on but right now uh this is the stationary position where it's going to be at for right now until we add another tin site right there and we're gonna do the exact same uh thing that we did with the lights we're gonna put it up on that side so with four lights off in here especially if you have another two more lights right here um this is actually going to allow you to produce even more because you're gonna have more light and even the ambient light from another light is going to you know produce up on the plant and stuff like that so the more light the better and also the more air that you have off inside of your bucket um uh, you you don't really necessarily have to use a uh a water chiller okay um some people like using water chillers to keep the temperature down off in there because maybe they're not producing enough air inside of their reservoir or inside of the uh container itself well what i do is it's only 10 buckets and these pumps here can actually produce out one two three four five six it's six of these here so that's 12 of them so basically what i do is i put two air stones in each one of these buckets right here and i just parallel them all up so like these five right here is going to go to this pump right here and then the other five is going to go to that pump uh, uh pump right here and that's the way how we're going to pretty much do it and it's going to be enough air especially when you have two of these here operating um uh, all around the uh, the the, uh the, the system itself that is a lot of air a lot of air okay and as you guys seen up on the channel and you've seen some of my grows um I don't really have any kind of uh, toxicities or deficiencies or anything like that because I pretty much have everything dialed down. And that is one of the reasons why I like doing this here so I can teach you guys my own method uh, on how to produce, uh, I feel like, top tier cannabis. Um, but yeah, man. So let's go ahead and um, finish this system up. And I really do appreciate you guys uh, joining the channel watching the video give me a thumbs up if you like seeing what you're seeing and be a part of this build if you guys have any you know ideas that maybe can make my job a little bit more easier man i really would appreciate it until next time man keep growing